So here we have our image ready and we want to watermark it. So I have the logo in the desktop. I would simply drag it into Photoshop and just drop it here. But as you can see, it's a complete white blog and I had not saved it this way. I promise I'll show you. Let me just simply delete this. And this is what I saved. So I wanted this in my image, not that white kind of block. What had happened? Hey there, this is Invasion. In this video, we are going to learn how to save an image with transparent background, how to retain transparency while you export that image. This is helpful not only in watermarking, but also in compositing. So without any further ado, let's get started. But before we begin, make sure you hit our subscribe button to get more videos like this in future. So let's hit it. Before we dig into it, let's understand in brief about image file formats. Now, as a photographer, graphic designer, or a creative person, you might come across tons of image file formats like JPG, PNG, SVG, AI, TIFF, PSD, BMP. There are lots. And the best part is, you don't need to remember all of them. All you need to know is that some image file formats support transparency, while some don't. So whenever you save your image with a transparent background, you just have to make sure that you're saving in a file format that does support transparency. Now, some of the common file formats that do support transparency are PSD and PNG. Now, there's a problem with PSD. The problem with PSD is that PSD is a Photoshop document, so it will be supported only in those systems which has Photoshop installed. Also, PSD is a huge file. It won't be supported in websites. It won't be supported in systems which are uh, which which is another platform like Linux. So there's quite a drawback. The only format that is globally accepted and that supports transparent background and that has a good quality is PNG. Now, whenever you save your image, you just have to make sure that you're saving it in PNG if it does have a transparent background. Now, one thing you need to keep in mind is that you need not always save as PNG. You can save it as JPEG if it does not have a transparent background, only in case it has a transparent background, then you save it as a PNG. As you can see in this example that our logo is ready with a transparent background. All we need to do is to go to File, Export, and there's an option that says Quick Export as PNG, that you can do quickly export it as a PNG, or you can go to Export as, and here, one dialog box will pop up and in the format, you can select the format as a PNG, JPG, GIF or SVG. Now watch, when I go to JPG, the background turns white because JPG does not support transparency. If I select PNG, the background, it's transparent. Now it does give you the option whether to maintain transparency or not. If you check it off, the transparency goes off, but that's not the point of this video. We need to have the transparency retained. So make sure this is checked. And when you save it, when you click export all, let's save it in desktop and save it. Let's keep any name. Let's save it as a PNG in desktop. And now when I import it, let's open this image again. And now when I go ahead and import this, from desktop to this file. As you can see, the transparency is retained and I can make it smaller the way I like it and hit enter. Now, one of the other places where you might use this except for watermark is in compositing. For instance, I make video thumbnails. So suppose I want to make a video thumbnail, I've made it and now I want to have my face in it. What I've done is I've taken a picture of myself, I've deleted the background and saved it as a PNG. So whenever I make a thumbnail that requires my photo to be there, I always need not go and select and delete the background. I don't need to do always. I have saved my face and my portrait just with a transparent background. So all I need to do, I need to go into that folder and open the PNG. Let's drag it in to Photoshop. It has a transparent background. It just simply fits in. I don't have to delete the background again. Remember, whenever you're working with an image with a transparent background or you're working with logos, make sure to save it as a PNG. Also, there's a tip here. Suppose you went to Google Images and you want images of smoke with transparent background. All you need to do, you need to type smoke PNG. If you're looking for a Facebook logo, Facebook logo PNG. And 
Google Images will give you images with transparent background. Why? Because they are saved in PNG. So that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure to give us a thumbs up and do subscribe to this channel for more videos like this in future. This isn't me shining off and I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. Before we dig into it, let us understand in brief about some of the image file formats. As you can see in this example, my logo is ready. Uh, 